Hello everybody and welcome back to Games for Daz and another Cards the Universe and Everything video. Today we are going to be looking at another cool deck uh, put together for this week's league. Uh, following on from that cool Bugs deck we did, we've done a Mega Math deck. There we go, that's the deck on the left and we're going to run through that very shortly. As I said, the, the bug deck that we did, check out that video, took us all the way to rank one, pretty much without losing a game, I think. So we thought we'd try something different for the rest of the week and to get a few shields. So let's have a look at this math deck. Okay, the first card we've got is Pythagoras, Pythagoras's Theorem. There we go, five for zero, and on the play, your common Mega Math cards in hand gain plus 34 this turn. Cool little card, that one. Not the best picture, though. Archimedes. Uh, gain 42 this turn on the draw. So as soon as he comes out, you're going to get 42 power. And he's 5 for 42. So a cool little card. And he is a math card as well. Then we've got Pythagoras of Samos. Uh, on the play, your Pythagoras Theorem card in hand. And cards with 3 or less base energy gain 33 this turn. So super little card, that one. As is Tessellation. Play this one in the middle and your mega math cards in hand are going to gain 24 this turn. Super card, cool pattern on that as well, I like that. Then we got the year 2038 problem. On the play, if your deck is 9 or more mega math cards, which we do, this card gains 52 permanently. So if we can get that around a few times, that's going to grow up to a massive score. Mandelbrot set, check out that crafting video on this one. It's easy to get, 100% guaranteed. And on the draw, every math card in your every math card you've played this game, you're going to get five. So that's pretty cool. Eculid, Exulid, Esulid. I'm not sure. Esulid, yeah. Uh, on the return, this card gains 24 permanently. Everybody should know this one. This is the power of zero. Uh, your opponent's cards in hand with 50 or more base power lose 49 and cost minus one for two turns. So that would do a bit of damage. Love this card. Fuzzy Logic. Uh, on the draw, your Mega Math cards, wherever they are, if you're losing this round, they gain 12. If you're tied, you gain 16. And if you're winning, you get 20. So whatever situation, you're going to get some points on all those Math cards. Door to Hell. I put this one in really just to give us a little bit of power because I wasn't sure how strong this deck's going to be. We'll find out in a minute, but uh, that's the Door to Hell. We all know what that one does. Likewise, Eureka. It's going to buff all our Science cards. Wherever they are, they're going to get 16 this round. And if we won the turn, the remaining cards in hand are going to get another 10 until played. So that's pretty useful. I like that one. Willem Olbers. Nice guy there. Uh, on the play, if your deck is four or more space cards, this card gains 26. And on the return, your Mega Math cards, wherever they are, cost minus one until played. So with this weird energy this week, he's going to be pretty useful. Doppler Effect, another cool card. On the draw, your Science cards in hand get 30 and cost minus one for two turns. And on the return, your remaining science cards in hand lose 15 permanently, which is not so good. But let's try and return that when there's no science cards in our hand. That's the tactic with that one. That's the Doppler effect 6463 as well. Super cool card. Okay, our next card we've got, I think this is our only mythic, a light speed travel. Fits in perfectly with this deck. If your deck is nine or more science cards, your science cards, wherever they are, gain 10 permanently. And four for zero, so pretty cheap to play. And with all those science cards in our deck, it's going to give us some real power. The Chrono Photographic Gun, another one of my favourite cards. Four for 39. I like using this in science decks. The card opposite this is going to lose 100 power this turn. So let's aim that well. Uh, another space card, Supermassive Black Hole. I've got four space cards. For every non-space card in your deck, give your space cards whoop, plus three. And then that last space card, Nocturnal. Uh, this is cool because it works with your Mega Math on the play. Uh, your card Mega Math cards in hand gain plus 20 for two turns. So they're all going to help with our science and buff uh, science cards. As is Leonardo on the play, your science cards in hand gain 26 until play. So that's a super card. Fits in pretty much every science deck. So that's my math, Mega Math deck. Uh, there's a few cards that you can swap around. There's some really good combinations for the Mega Math. But this is the one I'm going with. As I said... I want to try it in this week's league. I think starting energy is 80 and then 8 per turn, if I remember. I'm guessing there. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute. Uh, but anyhow, here we go. We've got a game already. So, have a quick look. Yeah, starting energy 80 and 8 per turn. That's right. 
So we are playing Tony Montan. Hello, Tony. Good luck. Okay. I didn't see a power of zero. I did much damage there, actually. I wasn't looking. Um, what should we play? Just these three. One, two, five. Oh, not a Nathan Mortals deck. Oh, I am so bored of seeing Nathan Mortals every game. Okay, this is going to be a good test because Nathan Mortals is a pretty strong deck to play with, um, but it can be beaten. So let's see if we can beat it. Now we know what we're up against. Let's try and get these cards in a good order. Uh, okay, Leonardo is going to buff all these cards, so let's get him out. Uh, the year problem, let's get that round and nocturnal maybe. 303, not a bad score. Oh, he's starting off slow with the Eight Immortals. So when you are playing the Eight Immortals, you need to try and win the first couple of rounds because by the end of the game, they do buff up to stupid power. Uh, what have we got here? Come on, connect, Tony Montan. We're 120 in the lead, so let's try and win this one. Uh, okay. So the door to hell has really helped us there. It's super massive door to hell and fuzzy logic. I think 381 plus 120. He needs 500. Oh, okay. That's the first round to us. Not massively, but we're going to win that fairly comfortably, I would say. Okay, 1 0. 1 0 against the Eight Immortals. Eight Immortals versus Mega Math. Okay, let's have a look. Don't forget that tessellation card. You want to try and play that in the middle. Uh, there's that Mandelbrot set that buffs up nicely with all our Mega Mask cards that we've played. So let's put that one in the middle and let's try and put uh, Mandelbrot and go for waste, but I'm going to do that anyhow. 191. We'll get the buff on itself. The extra 24 on each card from that tessell tessellation. Let's celebrate with the tessellation. Nice little lead, one, one, one. Okay, let's try and win this one as well. That's that Doppler effect come through. That's gonna give us a nice little buff on all our science cards now. If he does reconnect, there we go. Look at that, 30 and minus one to play them as well. Uh, and it lasts for two turns, so you don't have to rush to play the Doppler effect. You can keep it in your hand for one go. Pythagoras of Samos. Uh, yeah, let's keep him close to the other one and let's try and hit his Eight Immortals card. Yes, good shot. Minus 100 on your Eight Immortal. So it's still pretty close. He's just a little bit ahead on that turn, but we have the 1-1-1 one, one, one lead, so we are comfortably in the lead. Can we get 2-0 up? Come on, Mega Math. See what we can do here. So we probably need to play the Doppler effect. Uh, Archimedes. There's light speed, that's why I like it. That's a permanent buff, that's really good. I think we go with Doppler effect, Archimedes and Eureka, 314 plus the 106. He needs 420. Oh, we did it. I'm happy about that. Sorry, Tony. Sorry, Tony, with your eight immortals. I do like beating eight immortals though. If you've never put together an Eight Immortals deck, don't. No, I'm joking. Check out our Eight Immortals video and check out the Sue Bones meets the Eight Immortals deck as well. So if you're a new player, it's not a bad place to start, to be fair. Okay, we're 2-0 up. Can we kill off this game with 3-0 against the Eight Immortals? That would be some good result with this Mega Math deck. Yeah, problem. No. problem. We do, yeah, put it first, get him around quicker. Three, two, six. He's gonna get a good score here. Got a bit of a lead still. We got Leonardo. Let's get some science cards and we can buff up those science cards. Okay, what's coming round? Oh, only one science card, that's a pity. Anyhow, we got super massive black hole, nocturnal. Uh, that's that fuzzy logic card. I do like that. Let's him really well into this deck. Okay, Leonardo, let's do it. 280. Oh, that's not the greatest score. Oh, his eight immortals started to get a little bit strong. He's paired them up there with Ox, which is a good tactic. That eight immortal, so he's 41 in the lead. We've got a bit of power. Uh, there's the door to hell. 
Let's play this carefully. I think I have to play the door to hell. I don't want to leave that in my hand, burning away. Um, Mandelbrot 176. 427. I could probably have gone higher. Oh, I think I should have gone higher. I'm just going to lose. No, I played that probably not very well. I probably should have kept door to hell in my hand and played one of those other two cards. I think tessellation in the middle there would have given us the win. Oh, never mind. We lost by two. Okay, let's concentrate. This is a space arena. So we will get a little bit of a buff on our space cards. And let's get tessellation out now. This is what I should have done last time. 197 plus the 24 buffs on each card. Wouldn't be a bad start. These eight immortals are going to be quite strong now. So let's see how well we can do. Oh, it's not looking good. 320 against 269. We do have some big cards coming up though. Okay, Martin Luther's good card for this week. I'll give you that. Nice deck, by the way, Tony. I'm not going to tell you that because it is an eight immortals and I don't want to encourage people. Okay, what have we got here? Oh, I think. Don't put a fair. Right, let's re aim that gun somewhere. I don't like it hitting that arts and cultures one. Let's hit one of those history cards. Oh, good moves. Oh, that's kept us in it. Oh, I'm glad I moved that. Those extra 30 points or 24 points we knocked off that card could be crucial. We are 72 behind, but I know we're going to get a good hand here. What's he got in his hand? What's he got coming up? I think we need about 350, 400, maybe. Can we do that? Yeah, two, two, four, 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 three for 19, four, eight, five. Oh, he needs about 410, 415. It's going to be, oh, what's the buff? 30, no, we should be okay. Whoa. Okay, here we lost the last one by two, and I think we've won this one by four. Eight. Oh, that was close. Unlucky, Tony. Close game, that one. Close game. But anyhow, that is the Mega Math deck. As I said, this is this week's league against the Nate Immortals, so uh, you can't take much more away from that uh, this deck than that, really. It's done pretty well. Uh, I'll give this a 9 out of 10. So close, Tony. So close. Good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Do check out that Mandelbrot set crafting video if you haven't got that card. And the rest of these cards are fairly straightforward to trade and get. So uh, do try and put it together. Do try and play something different from the Eight Immortals occasionally. Keeps the game interesting. Anyhow, take care. If you haven't subscribed, please do give us a like and subscribe. And we will speak to you all very soon. Bye.